one other option here that I'm going to talk about, and this is this is one of my favorite. I love this. This is um, uh, this is an option that a person needs to to carry out very cautiously because there's no basic default setting that you can click to to restore the previous settings. What I'm going to do is click on the desktop again, and that's the big blue screen after you turn the computer on. And what are we looking at? And we're, we're looking at a menu here. We're looking at changing the actual menu sizes or menu item sizes in a web browser. So I'm going down to properties again. And how did you get to this menu? So, you so I right clicked with the mouse. Okay, with the mouse anywhere on this blue field on the so-called desktop? Yeah, anywhere on the blue field. You don't want to right click on it, an actual icon. You'll get an entirely different menu. But anywhere on that blue blue area, just right click. And then I'm going to left click on properties. And we get this, this dialog box again here. Now, before what I did is I clicked on settings to change the resolution. Now, this time, I'm going to click on appearance. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated, so I would highly recommend if a person does this, take your time. And even if you need to write down what the previous settings were, that may be a good idea. Um, so what I'm going to do, I clicked on appearance, and now this uh, the bottom right hand corner here, I'm going to click on advanced. Left click again. Now this, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. This entire window, this entire section here is interactive, which means if I click on any element, for example, I'm going to click on the word normal and down below it's going to change the options I have available the moment that I click on normal now here as you can see it's listed as menu is, is the item that I clicked on the word normal represents all of the menus within Windows, uh, within Windows operating system so I clicked on normal and I can click the I can change the font size here to whatever I want and I'm going to just for demonstration purposes, change this to 20. It was at 8 before, is that correct? It was 8 before, yes. Okay. Thanks for thanks for mentioning that. And the font is Tahoma, which is a sans serif font? Right. Tahoma is a pretty good font. I, I wouldn't play around too much with that. What I find is the, the actual font type, unless it's really uh, some crazy, um, really, really fancy fonts, font type, like calligraphy or something. Right, like right. I wouldn't start messing with that. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm going to click on OK on this box again. And it's going to take a little bit of time to... So you raise the font it. size from 8 to 20, and you left the default Sahoma font in place. Right. And now what I'm doing is opening up uh, Internet Explorer here. And again, with Internet Explorer, I think it's worth mentioning this, we don't even have a menu bar here. For some reason, the latest version in Internet Explorer has hit it. But the moment I press Alt, the menu bar will show up. And voila, we've got huge menu items that are very, very easy to see. That looks good. Yeah. Very, very user-friendly for a low-vision person. And how much better is this than that little magnifier that was demonstrated earlier? or you've just got a small sliver of a viewable area. Here a person can utilize the entire screen and then in a in a previous presentation like I showed they can still use the control spin wheel mm -hmm. and the spin wheel is a little mu little wheel between the left and right mouse button here. Mm -hmm. With the control spin wheel you have access to increasing or decreasing the size of, of the, the main window uh, of the web browser uh, mm -hmm. viewable page as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to be clear, then that, that when you went into the settings for the, um, I guess the screen settings. Yeah. Then that simply changed the size of the menu font at the top of, in this case, the browser or any other application, right? Right. Um, it changes it across the board. And it left the the main content fields say you went to the, the website for the census for the visually impaired, it left the main content the same size and you just showed that if you hold the control key down and use the spin wheel on your mouse, mm -hmm. you can, you know, raise or increase or decrease the, the fonts within the main window as well. Correct. 
Right. And does that uh, c control spin wheel action? Um, can that be used for, say, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, or only for web browsers? Absolutely. It, it can work for Word, it works for Excel. Sometimes it works in Outlook depending on the format of the email itself. Mm -hmm. It's very versatile. It works in uh, WordPad as well. So right. there's, there's multiple applications it works in. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'm a uh, bit of a, a shortcut key guru. I was going to press Windows M, which minimizes everything. So there's a Windows key on your Right, keypad. to the left of the Alt okay. key. Or you can click on Minimize here. Either way, uh -huh. Either way, it'll get you to the back to the desktop. Now let's change it back. You see, even these menus are much larger. I'm going. What I did is I right-clicked again on the desktop, anywhere on the desktop that's not on an icon. Go to Properties. I left-click on Properties. I'm going to go to Appearance again. And I'm going to go down to Advanced. Click the Advanced button. Once again, I'm going to left-click on Normal and that changes the menu down here and as you can see it's at 20 maybe you can't see with the camera but it's at 20 so what I'm going to do is change that back down to 8 which seems to be the default setting right? that's the default setting and again the, the, the risky thing about this is if someone else is using a computer other than you and they get in here and they want it back to the way they had it before you really have to know what you change in here. I wouldn't recommend changing a whole lot more other than the um, the word normal on here in this interactive screen. So let me ask you though that the other options within that were normal and what were the other options to say which is not hi highlighted. Right, there's there's a number of options here. You can you can control the size of the X which closes the application. <laughs> you can you can control the background. Um, okay. of but the screen okay. itself. Okay. But why normal up here in this, in this dialog box that you've opened? Right. The active window, normal, then disabled, which is not highlighted, so it's not available to us, and then selected? Actually, it is. It, 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 the word, okay, so the, this, is, this is Microsoft's rationale, I think. The word normal here represents uh, they want to make it as, as simple as possible, yet as compact as possible. So you've got the major elements within this little window here. Mm -hmm. You've got the inactive window in the back, mm -hmm. which is, is grayed out or light, light colored. Mm -hmm. You've got the darker title bar here, mm -hmm. which is going to be the active window. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like the dialog boxes and the OK buttons. Mm -hmm. So you've got a number of different elements here. Uh, the word normal, for some reason, Microsoft has chosen to designate that as representing all the menus. Now if that gets too confusing and you're more comfortable with the name of the elements themselves, mm -hmm. you can just go down and you can choose whatever whatever element you want from this list here. The problem is a lot of people, a picture is worth a thousand words, mm -hmm. if, if you can see it and you're comfortable with it as a low vision person and you know what it is, you just don't know what the name of it is. That's where this interactive window can really come in handy.